Best Labradoodle Haircuts Labradoodles are some of the most popular and well-regarded dog breeds that you can get your hands on, and it's easy to see why. They are friendly, usually hypoallergenic, and great dogs whether you're on your own or part of a big family. That's why it's so good to see a variety of haircuts to choose from when you take them to a groomer. Being able to stand out from the other Labradoodles is a really nice thing to be able to count on, and it can also make your dog much more identifiable at the dog park. That's why we are going to break down some of our favorite Labradoodle styles today, as well as some of the ways each one is useful for different needs. The Puppy Cut Depending on the hairstyle you settle on, you're going to be taking your dog to the groomer roughly every 5 to 12 weeks on average. With a choice like the Puppy Cut, you're going to get a low-maintenance style that doesn't require nearly as much upkeep as many other styles. Labradoodles look adorable as puppies, and you can relive those glory days from when they were a puppy, or experience it for the first time if you brought them into your home when they were already full grown. This hairstyle comes from the poodle dog show world, where this would be the cut given to the competing poodles, and it rounds the head off in a really cute way. The puppy cut is roughly half an inch to a full inch in length around the body, and pretty uniform for the legs as well. This cut is really easy to do, and so a groomer should be able to pull it off without a sweat. In fact, if you get your own clippers, you could probably pull this look off in the comfort of your own home and save yourself a few bucks too. The Teddy Bear Cut For a lot of people, the Teddy Bear Cut is the gold standard of Labradoodle haircuts. There are a lot of reasons for this. For one, it's pretty low maintenance. It's a little more work than something like the puppy cut because the fur is kept a little longer, but overall, it's still a pretty neat look. The legs and face hair are left a little longer than the body hair, and the result makes the dog look like a stuffed teddy bear. It's going to take a bit of grooming to keep this look, but aesthetically, most people would say this is the most recognizable and popular style. It's also a good style if you want a shaggier look, but still want some control. People really enjoy the curls of the Labradoodle, and the teddy bear cut keeps them long and bouncy so that everyone can see how much of a goofball your Labradoodle is. Despite its popularity, you should go into the groomer with a specific look in mind for exactly how you want the teddy bear cut to look on your dog. Some people will have different ideas of it, and while these may be small, like the length of hair on the feet, you still should always carry a reference for any style of haircut, no matter how popular. The Lamb Cut The Lamb Cut is actually a haircut that is more popular with poodles than it is with doodles, so it's best for doodles that inherited that same kind of texture. The Lamb Cut leaves the leg hair rounded and a little longer than the body and the head. The ear hair is also kept a little longer, and so you end up with a look that is a little goofy in the best way. This cut is great for people that want a more manufactured look, but don't want to have a ton of upkeep, and sits right in the middle of style and function. The lamb cut is one that every groomer will know too, and so you won't have to deal with any miscommunication issues or having to describe it to them. If you have a curly-haired Labradoodle, this might be the best look for you, and the easiest to maintain. The Kennel Cut the kennel cut is the king of simplicity, and if you just want a look that isn't going to require many trips to the groomer, then this is the one. The kennel cut is great for those summer months where it can be harder than usual to keep cool, and is more of a shave than a haircut. It's also a great option if your dog has been struggling with mats or tangles, and can kind of reset the fur coat in a way. Because of this, the kennel cut is a really good option if your doodle is struggling with hair or skin problems. You can better apply medicine, inspect their skin, and just overall care for their coat and skin with this kind of cut. A lot of owners will opt for this haircut at the start of summer, so that by the time fall rolls in, their hair will be back and they will be more prepared for the cold. The Lion Cut The Lion Cut is a great choice if you like to have a little fun. This hairstyle is sure to raise a few eyebrows and requires a good sense of humor on your part to pull off. Essentially, you're going to shave everything but around the head and the end of the tail, leaving everything else short. This makes it pretty low maintenance since the dog is mostly shaved, but it still leaves room for the outrageously cute and funny mane and tail. 
Dogs usually love the extra attention they get from sporting this cut, and it's becoming more and more popular amongst Labradoodles. The Short Clip This one is very straightforward and a haircut that you can easily do at home if you don't want to go to a professional groomer. The hair is about an inch all the way around, and you just cut the hair into a uniform size. This is another good haircut for summer, or if you are tired of brushing your dog so much, although you're still going to have to do that on occasion with this haircut too. You can ask for a short clip haircut at the groomer too if you aren't quite feeling up to the task of doing it yourself. The process can be hard if your dog gets spooked easy or if they don't ever want to sit still. If you are at all nervous about it, we suggest just taking them to see a professional and asking them to do it for you. The Long Clip this cut is similar to the short clip, but obviously you're going to leave things longer all around. This method literally just uses longer clippers, and so if you're on the fence, just let your short clip dog's hair grow a little longer and it'll look just like this. If you like more of a shaggy look, then that's certainly the long clip. And it's great for people that like the fluff ball look, but still want an easy and straightforward style too. You should consider keeping your Labradoodle's hair a little shorter than this if you live in a place where it can get really warm, but it's a great length for when it starts to get a little chillier, like in fall or winter. What is your favorite Labradoodle hairstyle? Which is the one that you give your own Labradoodle back home? Leave a comment down below and let us know! If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you can watch more videos just like this one. Until next time, guys!